Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back out here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Classroom. We got about three days before the trapping class starts. So I'm trying to get some of this ac academic stuff out of the way with you so I can take you live on some of this trap line stuff in the class. Maybe record some of the lectures as well for you. But what I want to talk about today is I want to start a little bit of a kind of mini series inside this series on trap line equipment or the equipment that you need to carry for trapping. And I get a lot of people ask me that question, you know, I want to start trapping, what do I need? Well, obviously you need traps. You need trappers education and a license. But there's peripheral equipment you need depending on the type of trapping you intend to do. So let's start with something that's very, very simple because I think it probably takes the least amount of gear, the least amount of skill, and you acquire that skill and wisdom over the time that you trap. But it makes trapping simple and fun if you're just getting into it. So these... Paw encapsulating or coon cuff style traps are very, very effective. They're a very safe trap to set for you. And they're a very easy trap to set with very little peripheral equipment you've got to carry to get the job done. So we've got our trap. We talked about setting this trap in another video during the mechanisms part of the video. And we can either carry them preset, half preset with a piece of PVC in them, or just open like they are now. You've got the chain, the trap tag, You've got a D-link, a swivel, or excuse me, a swivel at the end, a D-link that unscrews, and then you've got a piece of aircraft cable wrapped around that. And generally what I do with these, and the way, reason they're set up like this, because I use them close to the woods a lot, or in the woods, where there's plenty of trees. And I can just wrap this cable around a tree, or double it around a tree, depending how big the tree's diameter is. And then just jam this thing in the ground, carry a bottle of bait with me, you know, put some bait in there, put a little on the ground to bring them in, maybe a little bit of fish oil to squirt across a trail or something to bring them into the trap, and I'm pretty much ready to go. Anchoring the trap really is the trick or the key to most trapping once you understand how to set and where to set traps. So in this case, we used just a cable as the anchor with a speed lock on it that we can change traps in and out if we need to, change the location of traps, fix things we need to fix, take the entire trap that's frozen to the animal, things like that, so that we can quickly and easily do these things. But the other advantage to this is, let's say I've got my trap set up like this and I get to a spot I wanna trap a raccoon and there's nothing to put this around. There's no fence post on a fence line, there's no trees, nothing like that, but there's a good travel route that I can see coons have been using. So I wanna get this type of trap in there, maybe even a, a pipe or something like that that's going under a road that I wanna trap, but I can't put this around anything. Well, the answer to that is an earth anchor, okay? An earth anchor is a simple apparatus that you drive straight into the ground. It's called a wolf fang. You take a driver and there's a hole in the bottom of this that this fits into. And so you drive this straight into the ground like this, and then you pull this driver out. So it's in the ground like this. And when you pull up on this, it turns sideways and locks into the dirt and you bury it all the way down to the connection. And then you can use the same simple speed link connection that you've got on this trap to connect the earth anchor to it. So you've got two real easy ways of anchoring this trap. You can either anchor it in the dirt on the ground, or you can anchor it around an object. And it's really easy to carry something like this and then something to pound with. Maybe it's your ax, maybe it's just a baton and you don't want to carry a bunch of equipment with you or just a simple hammer will work just fine. The other thing I would recommend that you carry is a set of fence pliers. And fence pliers are really good for a lot of things. Number one, they'll cut this cable in an emergency if you have to get it cut. They also will grip that speed lock to loosen that nut. If it's cold, frozen, or gets rusted up on you and won't move, you can do it with this. You can also use this for other applications on the trap line, but this is one trap tool that I definitely would not want to do without on a trap line. You can carry a cheater tool like this for your coon cuffs, just a U-shaped rod basically with a couple of notches in it. And it's made to go over the top of this spring device and put those notches right on the bolt. And then it gives you leverage to push that down to the position you need to get it into. And because it's a tube or a U, that dog will actually go right through the middle of it. So you can actually set the trap with this in here, okay? So if you're not strong enough to squeeze these down by hand, 
or you don't have them set halfway before you get there. We need to do a reset on the fly. And you're not strong enough to do that. This tool will do that for you. And generally you can slide that thing right up in a set of pliers like that. And it makes a very small unit to carry around on a trap line. They can trapping for coons with coon cuffs. But you're going to catch possums. You're going to catch skunks. You may catch the occasional cat. And so that brings us to something else that you need to understand about trap line. When you get to a trap and there's an animal in it alive, you're going to do you know, one of two things. You're either going to release it or you're going to kill it. And the law in Ohio is that you have to dispatch that animal or let it go on the spot at the location. You can't carry it off and do anything with it later. Some states have different laws on that. So check the laws out of your state. To handle animals like that, you're going to need something like this noose pole, which is nothing more than a piece of PVC tubing with a coated piece of uh, wrapped wire inside of it, basically the same as this aircraft cable we're using on the traps, except a lot larger diameter. And it's got a lock on the back side here, so that when you pull this down, when you pull this noose down, it doesn't move unless you release this lock. And then it will let the line slide through it on one side or the other. There you go, just like that, okay? To open it up. So if you catch a cat, which could happen, you can catch a domestic or feral cat in a coon cuff because they can get their paw in there. And a lot of that's going to depend on whether you have push or pull or push-pull triggers in the traps that you buy. I prefer the triggers that only are pull. That way they don't get their hand down there and push the trigger by accident, pushing on the bait, and maybe just get the front end of their paw in that trap. I want them to get their whole hand in there and get encapsulated around the wrist with that trap. That's going to be the best hold on that animal. You'll get less cats if you have a pull trigger because they have to get all the way in behind that trigger trying to get bait out from behind it to activate the trap. And most cats aren't going to be able to do that. However, it could still happen. So some kind of a snaring pole like this to release those cats is an important thing to have. So that's pretty much all you need to go out and start trapping is a noose pole, an earth anchor driver and some earth anchors, a pair of pliers and a type of a cheater bar for setting traps if you need that, a jug of bait, and then a bucket of traps and you're ready to rock and roll. And that's much less peripheral equipment than you're going to need when you start doing things like upland sets. So if you're looking for a quick and easy way to trap, Coon cuffs are definitely it. And if there's anything that anybody carries most of the time doing coon cuffs that I'm not covering, feel free to cover it in the comments. I don't worry too much about covering up scent and things like that, wearing gloves. When I'm doing coon cuffs, I don't worry about any of that stuff. A bottle of bait, a bottle of fish oil or crayfish oil is usually all I carry. And my bait is generally just dog food, I mean, excuse me, cat food and some corn. And then I either mix fish oil into that or crayfish oil, just enough to make it smell like that, not really enough to gum up my trap. And I usually carry that in some kind of container. And it's usually either some kind of an empty like protein powder bottle or an empty, like I think that's probably a half gallon. I think that was apple juice because it's got a green top on it. This works perfect because the opening is small and you can shake it right into the trap. The opening of the trap is just perfect to shake that right into. So you don't get a lot of waste that way. With something like this, you kind of have to feed it in there with your hand. It's a little more time consuming. Something like this makes it very, very easy. You'll learn all those things as you go. But you can put all of this equipment that you need, except for the snare pole, pretty much in a five gallon bucket, very, very easily, 12 traps ready to go. Go run your line and be done in an hour. Easy, easy way to trap, and it's the way I would recommend anybody start trapping to get familiar with processing animals, putting animals down in traps, live releases, being able to set traps, set sign, being able to catch animals fairly easily. This is definitely a ticket, especially if you got nuisance animals around your farmstead, your homestead, in rural areas you're trying to catch raccoons and possums, things like that, and get them out of your garbage, out of your chicken house, all that kind of stuff. These coon cuffs are good at eliminating. That's why they're called dog-proof traps. They're not going to catch your domestic dogs. They're only going to catch those animals that can get their hand all the way in that trap and manipulate that trigger system to set it off on their hand. All right, guys. Well, listen, I appreciate you joining me for this video on 
the equipment it takes to trap with coon cuffs. So we'll have to set some of these on the line with some students here in just a few days. And we'll film some of that for you so you can see it. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.